Congratulations on your purchase of the Skyrider 3D Desktop Mini 3D Printer. This video will walk you through the steps necessary to set up and print your first 3D model. Before using your printer, we recommend you read through the entire manual thoroughly and become familiar with the printer's operation. Carefully unpack your printer from the packaging and take inventory of the included parts. The handle will need to be installed using the two large machine screws. The included memory card has the Cura software already loaded onto it. This is the software you will need to convert a 3D model file into G-code language that the printer will use to create your part. You can also download Cura version 15.04.6 from their website. With the Cura software installed, start the program to set the parameters for your Skywriter printer. Choose Other for machine type. Choose Custom for machine profile. Name the machine Skywriter 3D and enter the machine dimensions shown here. The dimensions are also provided in the manual. Change the basic and advanced settings as shown here. These are also provided in the manual. These are good starting values and can be changed later as you become familiar with the Skywriter printer. With the software set up, let's get the filament spool rack assembled. Thread a nut onto the spool shaft about half an inch. Fit the shaft through the hole in one of the spool rack sides and then a nylon lock nut. Cut the end of the filament at an angle. Squeeze the spring-loaded lever and feed the filament line through the hole in the lever and into the opposite hole. Stop when you feel resistance and then release the lever. Connect the AC power adapter to the printer and turn it on at the switch. Now we will level the printer bed. It is important that this step is done accurately. First, remove the printer bed by taking off the two binder clips. With the printer on, use the dial on the LCD control panel to select Position, and then Home All. When the printer stops moving, select Quick Settings, and then disable Stepper. Put the printer bed back on. If the extruder nozzle contacts the printer bed, tighten the three thumb screws beneath the printer bed until it no longer touches. Now, by moving the extruder head and printer bed, check the four corners to make sure there is still no contact. Adjust the thumb screws if there is contact at any of the corners. Use a business card to fine tune the height of the nozzle over the printer bed at the four corners. The business card should very snugly slide between the nozzle and the printer bed. Use the thumb screws to adjust the height of the printer bed as necessary. Work your way around, repeating the process until all four corners are correct. Turn off the printer when you're done.
Load one of the sample models from the included memory card into the Cura software. The model I chose was originally too large, so I scaled it down by clicking on the model, selecting scale, and then entering a smaller decimal to reduce the model size. Save the G-code file to the memory card. Then eject the card by clicking the eject button at the bottom of the screen. Insert the memory card into the Skywriter printer and turn the printer on. Select the file from the memory card and begin the print process. The filament needs to heat up to operating temperature before printing will begin. Select the file from the memory card and begin the print process. If the filament material is not sticking to the printer bed, cancel the print job and double check the clearance between the nozzle and printer bed as this would be the most likely cause of a problem. You can use design software to create your own part files or search the internet for downloadable STL files 